First of all, we're going to start with team news. Uh, we saw Alexander Mitrovic train this morning. How is he? It's getting better. Um, of course, he did the, the warm up with the team, did some some boxes, and today the session was more strategy to the match. Of course, um, I can tell you that was the the first day he was he was involved with the team. Um, after the two weeks, two weeks and a half uh, without without the team, now we are checking, assessing him how he is feeling as well. We'll do the same. Um, later this evening to take uh, to the decision if he'll be involved in the squad list or not. But he's, he's still soon. Um, let's see what will happen next few hours. Are you optimistic he could be part of the squad list on the bench? Uh, let's see. Of course, it's a decision that I have to take later. Um, and I will do it for sure. Um, I will meet with the medical staff, my technical staff as well, and after to take the decision. Uh, and how are a few of the other players who have injuries like William, Tete and Kojo? Uh, William will be involved. Um, Kenny, Kenny will be will, will be out like uh, like Cruzao as well. Okay. Uh, and how are they? Just with their injuries, morale wise, are they okay? I think um, let's see. It's like you know when when the, you have this type of muscle injuries, you have even if they are doesn't look really serious and and big ones, you have to to be careful and to to assess day by day to. to and to improve a little bit the, their work in a daily basis to see when they will be fully ready to involve to be involved with the team. You said you still don't know whether Mitrovic will play tomorrow, but I just wanted to ask you how much it does affect the team when Mitrovic is on the pitch. He's a key player for us, no doubts about it. But uh, I have to to tell you that. Uh, Last three games, Mitrovic didn't score, and the team scored four goals in three games. It's not a, a, a bad thing as well. Um, three games you score four goals, even without your best best score and um, a top top player and a very important player for us. Show that we we can score even if he's not on on the pitch. And um, I think last last two games, and they were different. Um, we haven't win. It's not because Mitrovic wasn't wasn't there. Um, some things should concern much more ourselves and the, that situation. Things to improve, not just because Mitro was not was not there. I know that Vinicius is adapting in our in our football club. Just arrived in the last day of the market. Just one man and a half in our football club. He has to keep improving, keep adapting in our. In our philosophy, uh, as well, different football, even if he knew from the, the, the season at, at Tottenham. Um, and Mitro is Mitro, and it's different because that is so important for us, and because that he scored so many goals last season and was a key player, and he's being a key player so far this season as well, and we'll keep doing the, the same. Um, but it's not just him. I think we, I think, you know, I'm sure if you have all the players available, we'll be stronger. As you know, our, our squad is not. Really deep, deep, deep squad, and uh, of course, when you have key players, they are they are injured or they are out for some reason. Of course, uh, we are not at our best level, but football is like that, and uh, it's a moment for the others to pop up as well and to show their quality. And just talking about the football, does it worry you at all conceding seven goals in the last two games, or do you think it was kind of unfortunate for the circumstances with the red card, etc.? I don't like, I hate to concede goals, even if our philosophy is to to go to the match to. Try to score more than the, the opposition side. Of course, um, the clean sheet at this level is something really important and uh, is something that um, is always in our dressing room. Is always something that they listen from from us, and we work to achieve it. And we work to achieve it as well every single day. Of course, I don't like, as I said before, um, different circumstances for the for the game. Two different games as well. Was a heavy result against Newcastle, even if you played 85 minutes with 10 with 10 players. It was, I told you after the match against Newcastle, and that probably even with 10 players, two three of that goals we we should have done better. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I think the the third the third goal is a good example after the, the save from Berno. I can tell you probably that the second goal that was an amazing goal from Almiro. Um, could be all the other three we 
we have work on it because we have to to do better. Okay. Looking for the last game, if you want to talk about the three goals we conceded, okay, um, up to us to work. But when the second and the third goal, all of us uh, we saw all the things happen. Uh, first goal, first goal was a penalty that unfortunately was against us. Let's hope uh, in the other box will be um, in the future for us as well. Um, and the other two goals they, they should be disallowed. That is the, the clear. Um, in a normal circumstances, in a normal football, should be disallowed both goals. Even so, we the work we did um, during the, that you have done with our players during this week was to to improve in that situation. The first goal, the second goal. Sorry, of course, um, in our alignment we should. Um, have done better in that moment in our alignment, the reaction from our central defender as well. But the reality that is something that we, we can't control, that the two goals they should be disallowed. That is not a normal football. Football is to play with the, the feet, not with the end. It's not concerning, something that I don't like. And, and if I see other teams um, scoring on a goal that all the credits to them and all situations, I'm here the first one. Even if I will keep working with my team, saying, OK, credit to them, they involve us, they went one side, the other side, they create, or a player did a, something fantastic and scored an amazing goal. Last, uh, and 44 as last few few goals we conceded, or some of the goals we conceded this season, was, wasn't what happened. That is the, the true um, the game against Newcastle, even with 10 man, is a good example, apart from the goal from Al Milron, all the others. Um, should do much, much better. And the last game, more or less the same. Okay, one was, was penalty, and the other two, even in if they were, they should be disallowed with the handball. Uh, we should do better. That is the thing, and it's my job to work with the situations we can control. Um, it's not a matter of concerning. It's clear something that we must improve. Definitely not. It's not just the goalkeepers or the defenders. I think we, as a as a as a team, we we must improve definitely in that in that moment.